Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I want to share with you something very interesting that I've just read recently. Talking about tea or dark tea and diabetes. There are many studies out there, but most of them are about uh, type 2 diabetes. It's quite rare to come across the studies on tea and type 1 diabetes. And the research I want to share with you today look at the Tibetan tea and type 1 diabetes. The name of the research article is Phytochemical Composition of Tibetan Tea Fermented by Erosian Cristallin and its uh, effects on type 1 diabetes mice and gut microbiota. Tibetan tea, Zang Cha, refers to the tea that the Tibetan people drink in their daily lives. Unlike green tea or black tea, Tibetan tea is not a type or a category of tea. Tibetan tea is a kind of a dark tea. Tibetan tea has a very long history, over 1200 years, and that's just the official record. It is not made in Tibet. It originates in Ya'an, Sichuan province. So it's made with the Sichuan tea plant and processed in Ya'an, then shipped to Tibet. And Tibetan people have their own way of enjoying tea, either in sweet flavor or savory flavor. Tea is considered vital in their daily lives. Eurotium cristatum is commonly known as gold flower. This fungi is uh, first discovered in Fuzhuan. Now it's uh, introduced to various uh, dark tea. There are many studies on how beneficial this fungi is to human body. So there are a little innovations to introduce this fungi to different uh, dark tea. Tibetan tea traditionally don't have this. Therefore, this is a new process. In this study, they look at the phytochemicals in the Tibetan tea, such as uh, theobranine, tea polysaccharides, polyphenol amino acid, caffeine, uh, flavonoids, and etc. So the gist is they made this Tibetan tea extract and uh, tested it on mice, uh, observed them for 28 days with a weekly measurement uh, and comparisons. There are seven groups with or without diabetes uh, receiving different uh, dosage, different level of dosage of um, the Tibetan tea extract. The result is very uplifting. It seems that the Tibetan tea with the golden flower was able to help reduce the food intake, improve sugar tolerance, increase serum insulin levels, relieving liver and pancreatic injury, restore damaged islet cells, improve gut microbiota, both in diversity as well as abundance. Same with other tea and health videos on this channel. By sharing these studies and research with you, I'm not encouraging you to uh, drink a huge amount of tea or take tea as the, some kind of a uh, cure-all for your health. I just think it's a very interesting piece of information that could be fun to some of you. And personally, I don't drink tea for health. I drink tea for my own enjoyment. And um, I don't really agree with ranking the most healthy tea, the superfood. I think it's more important to have a balanced and a varied diet and a overall lifestyle is more important than a single super healthy food. And it's true with all the research and studies that they all have their own limitations and bias. It's just a natural part of it. Like in this one, they use mice, from mice to real people, human. That's a big leap. Also, in terms of uh, concentration level and intake quantity, is it something that uh, really suitable for our daily lives? That's another question too. And I have more video in the future like tea and fluorides and tea and vitamin C. 
If you are just like me who is obsessed with all things about tea, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified as soon as we have new videos. Well, if you love health topics or would love to improve your overall health, I'd like to shout out to our other channel, Phil and Jen, where we will share all things we love. I want to keep this channel uh, more tea related. Sometimes people think we're lucky that we don't use, we don't need Advil or Tylenol in our lives, but we worked for it. My goal for my health is uh, very clear that I want a quality life even when I'm old, like 80. <laughs> I know here I have a quite a young audience, but I think it's never too early to start taking care of your health. On the other hand, if you are an older generation, it's never too late to make a meaningful change. Phil and I have been living together for over 10 years, and when we first met, he has that traditional North American lifestyle. Uh, it's, you know, pasta, steak, uh, you know, burger, salad, and try different diets to lose weight and go to the gym twice a week, have coffee pretty much all day long, except in the afternoon, he got to really watch out uh, with the caffeine intake. Even with the decaffeinated coffee, he could get some trouble sleeping. And now he lost almost uh, 10 kilograms. That's about 20 pounds. The best part is there's no trying. He gains some muscle and have better posture. Uh, we don't count calories. We, we're not on a diet. Um, yeah, we eat dessert, chips, uh, burgers. Uh, you know, you see our videos with large cooking and real butters. And in terms of coffee, he only drink like a small cup of coffee in the morning and no intention to drink more during the day. What's interesting is his caffeine sensitivity lowered. Um, when we first started, he could only drink shupur at night. And now he can drink shupur, shenpur, uh, oolong, black tea, uh, even though Shupur is still our favorite, but he had no issue drinking those teas at night and still go to sleep uh, very easily with a really good quality sleep. Well, by quality sleep, I mean really fast to, to fall asleep, uh, no wake up during the night, and uh, deep sleep, you know, pretty noise proof sleep like deep sleep and well rested in the morning he used to have lower back pain in the morning when he first uh, woke up it, he doesn't have that anymore uh, gum bleeding uh, no more um, oh there's a surprising one is he doesn't need as much deodorant last time i purchased the deodorant was pretty much a full year ago we didn't expect that and he also didn't develop any like common symptoms that his age group often have, like uh, a reflex is a common one, uh, like a sleep, like a snoring, uh, knee pain or stuff. We're pretty happy with the change. So in that channel, I'd like to explain what's the lifestyle that I keep talking about. I will share videos on exercise, like how to walk for exercise purpose, uh, how to run, how to climb stairs, those basic things that I believe are beneficial in the long run, and also some diet explanation, like how we can eat lard and fat and still have excellent lipid test results, why I don't think smoothie is a very healthy option for people, and why breakfast cereal is a bad option for breakfast. I also would like to help people sleep better uh, without sleeping pills or supplements and videos on how to get quality pee and poo poo. I also want to provide some alternative solutions for those little issues or discomfort in your life like colitis, canker sore or headaches, so if these are the topics you're interested, please consider subscribe to the other channels. Well, thank you for tuning in and hope to see you next time. Keep steeping.